Now look at question number 31. <coughs> a calorically perfect gas. So specific heat at constant pressure. So 1000 joule per kg Kelvin. So he gives specific heat at constant pressure. That is 1000. So joule per kg Kelvin. So enters and leaves the gas turbine. So with same velocity. So he is saying that. So this fluid enters the gas turbine. And leaves the gas turbine at same velocity. So temperature of the gas. So at the entry and exit of the turbine are given. So if I take this is the turbine, <coughs> so temperature at the entry and exit are given. So temperature at the entry is given as 1100 Kelvin. So temperature at the exit is given as a 400 Kelvin. Respectively. So the power produced is 4.6 megawatt. So power produced from the turbine, so is nothing but 4.6 megawatt. So this is the power produced by the turbine. <coughs> so heat escapes at a rate of a 300 kilojoules per second. So heat is lost from the turbine casing. So at a rate of so 300 kilojoules per second. So through the turbine casing. So the mass flow rate of the gas in kg per second through the turbine is. He is asking us to get the value of mass flow rate. So through the turbine. So to produce this power. So here generally this turbine heat exchangers all this operate on uh, steady state process. So I can say mass entering the system and mass leaving the system both are same. I can say energy entering the system and energy leaving the system both are same. I can say, so these devices, so work in steady state. So I can write steady flow energy equation for this process. So I can say between inlet and exit of the turbine. So I can write like this. So M dot is mass flow rate, so at the inlet of the turbine. So H1 is enthalpy of the fluid at the inlet of the turbine. So kinetic energy plus potential energy of the fluid plus heat supplied to the control volume is equals to m dot h2 plus v2 square by 2 plus g z2 plus work done by the control volume so rate of work now see see here you saying that velocity is the same at the inlet and exit so and if you see for a given steam so head is also same i can say there is no change in potential energy between entry and exit of the turbine and i can write like this so m dot h1 plus q dot is equals to m dot h2 plus so work done by the control volume. Now you can see, so I can write like this, m dot h1 minus h2 is q dot minus q dot plus so work done by the control volume. He is saying that heat is lost from the control volume, so since heat is lost from the control volume, so this is minus 300 plus work is done by the control volume, it is I can say it's 4.6 megawatt, 4.6 into 10 power 3. So because everything, everything is in kilojoule per second, so I converted that also into kilojoule per second. So this is m dot <coughs> into h1 minus h2. So I can write like this. So m dot is nothing but so 300 plus 4.6 into 10 power 3. So divided by h1. So the value of specific heat at constant pressure is given. So I can write that is 1000 Cp into, so T1, temperature of the inlet of turbine is 1000, so minus temperature of the exit of turbine is 400. So if you simplify this, you will get the value of mass flow rate, so that is around 7 kg per second. So we thought heat is supplied to the system, so we have taken it as positive, but here heat is lost from the turbine casing, so therefore I made it as a negative term. <coughs> I can say these are the energies entering the control volume and these are the energies leaving the control volume. So here heat is leaving the control volume but heat is not entering the control volume. Therefore I need to take so Q here. So if I take Q over here, it's nothing but you are adding 300 kilojoules to the work that is coming out. So and finally since according to our sign convention I took as minus 300, so finally we are adding it. <coughs>